everybody welcome back to Rich's Tech Tutorials uh, this week we're going to be looking at the my notes app and looking how we can improve the user experience so from the workspace they can just go to a page which is going to have the landing page and just enter a note quickly into the uh, into the application so you remember from last time we built out the workspace and we built out the tables and we showed how we can edit that data and show that data and do various things with UI Builder. So what we're going to do now with UI Builder is we're actually going to modify the landing page. So what you're seeing here is the main page. So if I go back to home, it's my home default. And what I've done is I've removed the standard dashboard that comes with uh, Workspace Builder and I've replaced it with a number of controls. So I've taken the icon that I've had before and I've put it on screen, I've made it a bit larger and I've added various different pieces to basically give us a text box to so this text area control that we can see here over on the left hand side and then also a circular button which I've added the same icon on top of for the custom image so if you can see here it's the notes PNG and this one's the notes PNG as well which I've stored against the actual application itself so what we want to do is when somebody types their note in here and then clicks this button, we want it to add that note to the notes table. Now, we could do that by having them go to the list and create a new note, but that's not really very good from a user experience. But what we want to do is really make it nice and simple for them to land on this page and hit the add note button. So if we just preview this for a second, you'll see I can fill in my note here but it doesn't do anything yet because we haven't put anything behind this button. So you can see I've got a couple of notes here, but uh, it's not really doing anything at the moment. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk through how we go about adding the various elements we need to make this work. Right, so the first thing we need to do is we need to create a client state parameter. In my case, I've called it new note, and that's gonna hold the text that's in that text box. So what we need to do is on the text box itself, if we click events and event mapping, and we want to have it when the text area value is set. So in other words, when somebody's finished typing. So we do that. And what we want to do is we want to update client state parameter. Our client state parameter is new note. But the value, what we're going to do is we're going to data source at payload, because it's the payload from this event happening, dot value. And we add that. Now, whenever somebody finishes typing on out, save that data into that state parameter. So the next thing we need to do is we now need to add a data source. Now, the data source we're going to add is allowing us to write data back to the database. There's more than one way of doing this. So what we're going to be looking at in this particular episode is a generic one. But in the next episode, I'm going to show you how to do a very specific one. And I'll talk about the use case for that in a moment. So let's get started. So what we're going to do is we're going to add, if we go down to global, and then we find the create record, and we add that in. So we've added that in. I'm just going to change the name of that to just create, the ID, sorry, just to create record. There we go. And then what we need to do is we're going to create a client script that's going to take our data, format it correctly, and then put that into the execute this data source. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new client script and we're going to call it something like, you know, add note. Now, I've pre-done some of this uh, just to make it much simpler. So what we're going to do is to do this, we first of all need to create the data structure. And the data structure we need for this is as, as follows. Now, if I just format that. So we're going to create a new record. We've got a constant for the JSON that we need. With the table, we need to specify the table. So this is my table for my notes app. And template fields. This is uh, like a glide query encoded. So you put the name of the field equals the value you want it to be. And then you can add more on if you wish to update more than one field. Uh, we're not going to go through that here. Maybe we'll cover that in another episode. And you don't need to put this one in, but use a set 
display value is for when you're if you're passing in the display value and you want the system to translate that back into the value it should be especially for drop downs that's when you maybe set that to true okay so that's the first thing we need to do the next piece we need to do is well I'm gonna output the out to the console just for my debugging when I want to have a look at see what's going on so I'm just gonna you know JSON stringify new record put that out to console and the piece we really want to be doing API dot and then it's data because obviously this is a data item and then we've only got the one data item which was create record so create underscore record and then we're going to execute that and what we're going to pass in is our new record so there we go so we're going to pass that in so if you're not sure just go back to the data it was called create record so if we come back to here so create record execute and we're passing in a data and there we go that's it so now what we do is we save that that's our script done but now we need to attach it to the control so the actual button so if i just minimize that for a sec so if i go to my button i go to my events i want to add an event handler and in this case we're just going to add, use the add note script add that in save that and now what we're going to do is we're going to open it open up the url so i'm just going to load our new form up and what we're going to do is we're going to put a new node from the front page and we're going to hit submit now you'll see nothing it looks like nothing's happened but we do we refresh our view so here we go a new note new note from the front page so it's worked hopefully that's been useful Please like and subscribe, leave some comments in, in the notes below and we'll come back for the next episode where we'll show you a different way of updating that and also how we can add things like notifications at the top of the page. Thanks very much.